I think the situation that the Bears have, these are all good options. Like, I I don't think you have many bad options here. So it's the preference of which good option you'd like that people are going crazy over. And and that, to me, is just funny. But I think keeping Justin Fields here for his fourth year isn't the worst thing in the world. Just to me, he's proven to be pretty average. A lot of people who I respect say that we should be getting rid of Justin Fields and drafting Caleb Williams. And uh, I think there's more than two options here. Not that all the other options are very likely. What is our clear opinion? We've been labeled as Justin Fields haters and it, it blows my mind because it, it's a nuanced opinion. And also we're not hypocrites and we're not contradictory. We've made many videos that say how risky it is to go early in on a quarterback, right? So we know how risky it can be. And that's why mine and Polly's preferred choices. I'd even be okay with you go back to two, you take Drake May, you let him sit for a year. We just have acknowledged you can't take a guy one, one and sit him for a year. It's just not how the NFL works. It's usually not what NFL teams do. You want to talk about like how Justin Fields has the locker room and this and that Justin Fields starts playing poorly in the first five, six games. You're, you know, now you're dividing the locker room over Caleb Williams or Justin Fields. You're dividing the city. Uh, What do you do with Justin Fields? Then he's tanked his uh, trade value. Look to summarize. My point is, is that is our first choice. We just, we have acknowledged how risky it is to take a quarterback 1-1. However, in the situation you're in, it's it's gambling with house money. You have a first overall pick and a ninth pick of your own. We have said this many times. If Carolina was picking seven and you're picking nine, it's a totally different conversation. I don't think me and Paulie make a single video about moving on from Justin Fields. You know how it goes. Nine times out of 10, you say your nuanced opinion, and then the one time it sounds a little bit like you're trying to make it cut and dry and Justin Fields is obviously the wrong choice, then people are going to jump on you. That's the one that people go, oh, to, and then that gets the most reacts, and then that gets the most attention, you know? So, yeah. I mean, to be honest, based on some of your shorts, I kind of thought, not that you were Justin Fields haters, but that was your clear-cut number one opinion, and I didn't hear any of your nuanced ones just from what was popping up. I probably have the most unpopular opinion on the subject, to be honest with you, but my opinion is my opinion. You know, I truly believe that Fields has done enough to earn at least every start through his rookie contract. It does not mean that you can't have a quarterback behind him. I would totally not be opposed to dropping back and still getting a top 10 draft pick and taking a quarterback. And then I would take that quarterback and I'd sit him and I'd let Justin Fields try and play out his fourth year. You know, I think that would be a win, win, win. You still get a trade back. You still get a new quarterback and you still give Justin Fields an opportunity to play. However, like I said, it's probably the most unpopular opinion right now. People hate it. Dealing with dozens and dozens and dozens of comments saying that Justin Fields is going to be a number one quarterback in this league. Justin Fields is going to be a Hall of Famer. You wait and see what happens when you draft him. This and that. It got to the point where it's like, dude, my tank was full and overflowing. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to let you guys have it. Like this, this is why all that's wrong because people fail to criticize fields whatsoever. And it's like, dude, there's criticism all over the place. Sure. There's pressure sometimes, but there's also situations where there's a clean pocket, open wide receivers, and he's just flat out missing the play. Done a lot of game film watching of Justin Fields in college. And guess what? All these things that he has issues with today he had those issues in college um a little bit slow on his reads even though he still went through his reads better than he did today i think he's taken like even steps back when he throws casually that's when it lands right in the receiver's breadbasket on deep throws every time you see him miss a deep shot today he's driving on the throw when it's not necessary and it's because how often does he get these deep shots and with the play calling not very often i really do feel like Almost all of this was on Getze and or the coaching around fields. He had Nagy for that first year because he had the same issues in college and they just were never worked on. They were more focused on just installing their system. I personally, I respectfully disagree because, okay, so even in the Tampa Bay game, you don't throw two screens in a row. Sure. Fine. I understand. Does that mean you throw a pick six? Does that mean that that's... Does that mean that that's got to be the result of you calling two screens in a row? No, that comes down to execution. I I saw way more poor execution from Justin Fields in 2023 in the fourth quarter than I did in 2022. I felt in 2022 he tend to put the game on his back a little bit more in the fourth quarter at the very end, and I just saw the complete opposite in 2023. And um, I don't believe that Getsy 
listen, maybe Getsy's fault is that he's not a great teacher. Maybe he's not teaching these wide receivers the right things and this and that. And we saw some examples of receivers running the same route next to each other and things like that. But I don't think at the end of the day, he's extremely incompetent. I think these are simple, simple routes, simple play calling and going back and, and watching some guys that I like, like JT O'Sullivan or even Robert Schmitz break down some of the, the plays at the end. Some stuff's just obvious. And when it's that obvious that it's obvious to me, it's easy to point out that like, if you just get rid of the ball quick, if you just know the play, if you can throw a dump off in stride, if you do, these decisions have to be made quick, a lot quicker than Justin Fields is making them. So are there problems? Yes, but there's problems on every team, you're going to come across these situations just about anywhere you go in the NFL. And in my opinion, it's how you handle those situations. 